All right, morning everybody. How we doing? Title Tuesday. Starts in about two and a half minutes. Hero here, Kipo Hey, Foxy. Thanks to Murpin75 for the two months Ministry of Repair. Six months with Prime as well. I'm over on EST time right now, so. This is 8, 8, this tournament is 8 a.m. on the West Coast. 8 a.m. Happy to have it at 11, I'll tell you that. Howdy, Spudge. Petusius. Hello, hello. Well, you guys can do exclamation mark upcoming, as I've seen a few people do so far, to get an idea what Eric's getting ready for. But uh, Magnus awaits once again. So it should be a pretty fun, uh, pretty fun tournament. I'll be commentating again, just like last time. So the channel will be busy. Eric will be even busier. Hey, I'm psych. Yeah, so we'll give a shot at this uh, early title Tuesday. Also got the late edition today. Don't know, um, maybe Eric will feel like playing that, but if not, I'll probably try it myself. So usually aiming for two streams on the title Tuesday, regardless. Uh, I think before and during Spudge. Hey, Victor. What's up, buddy? March 15th, early title Tuesday. 11 rounds. We're not the most uh, wide awake. But we got our coffee. Hey, Remizak. Oh. 
All right, good luck us. Oh, this, uh, it just starts this time. You guys saw that? There was no uh, delay. Did they change it? Hang on. Did they fix what was happening to me last time? What do you guys think? All of a sudden now, does time just start? He's got to take that way. Blow the Saint. Yeah, I've been doing some bullet chess championship commentary. So you guys have uh, maybe seen me. Do we throw a move like this in? B4, knight, B1, knight, D2. Is it necessary to play now, though? That's really, I guess, what I'm wondering. I'll do it straight away, against my better judgment. To, hey, bishop b7, at least he has to think about a few moves. Rook c7 and bishop c7. This one is, uh, I don't know, just a funny looking move. Eighty-eight. yeah. Bit of a strange move, I would say. <laughs> So I'm looking at the c5 square, now also I'm going to go here, push him around. Maybe we take that, I think we take it, we go knight b3, knight b3 covers c1. And one of these two moves to hit one of these two pawns followed by rook c1 is my plan. And I was specifically thinking of this one because it's kind of hard to defend that pawn actually. You can't play a5. If I go here, takes, knight takes b2. He's got some stuff there. So I think we take this and go here. And how does he defend that? Can't, right? kind of weird, but I don't think he can protect it. He defile average, or average Frank, Irish Frank. <laughs> average chess bra enjoyer. Morning as well to uh, for Twitch. Here, Hisuki tracks. Yeah, here's the idea. I want to go rook c1 as well, but double isolated pawns are never great here, and that's a solid pawn structure against that bishop. That pawn is killing that bishop, so overall, it just doesn't have too many happy pieces here. This move's also going to hit that pawn, also supports knight a5, so I've got a bevy of good moves that I want to play next. Rook C1. 
Gotta be starting with rook c1, right? Just good. I was thinking about playing this, but okay, can always wait. Now our pieces are out, so to speak. <laughs> We've rescued them. And everything's protected. Knight on f4 will be very nice. we could go for as well. Queen's protecting that, which is important to notice. <laughs> Once we actually had good timing with a with a raid. Actually coming in on a win. Unreal. Thank you, Neil. Flab TFT. Perfect timing. There we go. How long were you grinding, Neil? Because I saw you uh, I saw you on the late night shift. Did you go all all out the entire time? Full send. Thanks for the raid from the lab TFT. Oh yeah, nice and short. Only five to six hours. All right, nothing big. Ooh, the pre-stream nap is a uh, key. Key. Welcome raiders. You guys don't know about Neil's channel. The guy's actually really, really actively streaming right now. And uh, what I always notice about streams that come on, let's say, at abnormal hours, <laughs> like Neil's, they usually have the most dedicated base. Like, if you're the type of guy that's just up in your bed at 4 a.m. and you're wondering, like, you're looking for something to just do, take your mind off things, something soothing to watch. I personally have like a, a list of people that I know stream at that time or that upload YouTube videos at that time. So I know I always have something to watch. So Neil's the kind of guy that is pretty reliably streaming at those hours. It's nice to sort of uh, build your roster of people that you know are gonna be around when you're up staring at the ceiling. Um, let's have a look see here. They uh, they gave us a 3k right off the bat, hey? Come on, y'all. Oh, maybe he played d4 already and he's wondering why his clock is ticking. Yeah, it says my opponent just reconnected, so he must have refreshed. So there's no way they fixed that. There's no way. <laughs> he must have done the same thing.
Yes, we take. Hello, AB Shakespeare, Mannered Monkey. Guess we do like that. has a really bad reputation. This uh, sort of bishop d7, rook there, bishop e8, knight there, knight f8, knight g6. Kind of a, I don't know, just a shitty line. Like, subpar. I mean, the goal is to get the bishop here. And rook a7, the blade b6, and bishop there is my on the edge. super slow attempt. As easy. You don't want to, against these these GMs, man. I'd rather do something that he's not sure if it's stupid, but it looks stupid, but he's not sure, rather than something that doesn't look stupid, but he knows it is. Now if I go here, there's knight b5 to be careful of. So now, I think we're gonna go here. Because now there's no c6 to watch. Eats me though. <laughs> I have a very delicate series of moves here. Okay, the reason knight b5 is not the threat anymore. Just go here though, right? Um, the reason it's not a threat anymore is because I have queen b8. Oh, I can tell you guys I did not see that move. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I think we can resign this game. <laughs> yeah, this game's resignable. <laughs> Guess this guy is gonna drop with a force of a thousand tons. He's gonna drop it like it's hot. We need three and goodbye. <laughs> if the seventh rank is the new eighth rank here. It's really what I'm trying to say.
something tells me uh, we ain't surviving. Yeah, I think we can uh, let this one go. The dust has settled, so to speak. It's not like a position where, oh, I've got one second, but hey, if I make the right moves, I survive. It's like, I got one second, and if I make the right moves, I lose. I force. <laughs> But okay, I just didn't. Forgot about Queen H5. Queen H5 is the resignation on the spot. Because, uh, yeah, just lose his pawn. My position here is great if Queen H5 doesn't exist. Right? Imagine this move isn't there. In my head, I'm thinking, okay, you know, obviously I'm not very intelligent, but let's pretend this pin isn't here. Okay, great! You know, I'm gonna play Knight 5 <laughs> You know, I'm only looking at the good things in the position, but both of these moves using the pin are not only strong, but maybe winning. So it's just the kind of setup that needed one or two more moves from my end before it was playable. Like maybe if I had rook a g in the position, it could have been fine because even queen g4 would get met by knight f8. So it was like one tempo too short. I definitely don't. What I was concerned about is I was gonna play g6, and g6, by the way, is the more normal reaction to g4. Because they go g5, you go knight h5. But I was concerned he was gonna do this. And previously, on the OC, I was gonna go like this, but I just got the feeling that my knights were gonna get too tangled up here. And if I have to go back here, which is the only square available for this guy right now, and I thought just, I mean, I'm just getting murdered here. So, I wanted to keep this square available for the knight. So I play h6, but g6 is the more natural move. I actually don't know. He could have played this move right here. If I take, he has this. But okay, maybe I sack the exchange. And if I take here, he goes here. The reason that it's not as good here is I have knight g4 to there. But after he goes g4, and as soon as he does this, then, or rather this, take the knight. Then he kicks this knight out. I don't really have this square available, and he's gonna get this. So it just kind of looked, uh, just kind of looked like uh, he always had just one extra move, which makes sense because I'm doing one extra move to try to get my bishop out. And I got punished by a single move basically in this game, so. Um, Farty Party, thanks for the 100 bits. Genghis Dragonfur, thanks for the 13 months. I'm awful, thanks for the 14 months with Prime. Is that right, Jumpy? A lot of uh, mug orders were placed, I think, uh, last month during our sale. So it makes sense. There's a lot of uh, orders that have been arriving just in the last week, basically week, week and a half. So that makes sense. The timing, everyone's getting them at once. my speed we got the bfms back in the building okay i feel like that was a little delayed but i wasn't paying attention oh yeah very serious art i tell you eddie in any major market like kijiji or ebay those go for 15 20 bucks a pop I'm telling you it's uh it's the new stuff
So is the plan B5? This will go A4. F4 is never uh, really happy to play that move. It's probably what I do next. Here we take and go B3. I don't think that's the most dangerous thing. Yeah, let's go F4. Really? Really, do I have to play that one? Gross. Surely. I don't. Yuck. One of you. I mean, these are obviously the worst squares on the board for the Knights, the corners, but these are like the second worst. <laughs> they just go to very inoperative squares. Really, we don't want to be using our queen to do this job. This bishop needs to get to f1. Okay, let's keep that bishop on the board. We need a... Uh, H4, rook B1, bishop F1. I need to assign other pieces, not my queen. I mean, this bishop's not doing anything anyway, right? It's not a very great piece at the moment. Bishop on d3 will be kind of nice. I have the beta knights. Is the alpha knights ready to do things? My beta knights are waiting in response. Probably go here soon.
keep the rocks on the board. <laughs> yes, me and buddy Sergey down in the wire. Me and Big Surge. <laughs> Oh man, what in the hell? Okay, here getting murdered. And then here I can't play knight d3 because of weight, but I can't even begin to analyze what happened here because at this point, two bishops should definitely win, so he's just missing stuff. But that's why I had to play bishop here, and then at least from here I had a plan. Um, I should have. I mean, it, like it's just the the wins for <laughs> for black are just so easy to spot that they're everywhere. They're like every second move there was a win. But what, once I took his B pawn, then then I was doing fine. Oh my goodness! Already on to the next game. <laughs> We're playing our buddy Jordan. Big Betty Jordan. Knight takes knight c3 is notoriously difficult to play, at least for me. <laughs> I'm gonna take the pawn. Queen c2, f5, knight d5. <laughs> Maybe knight d5 there, followed by c6.
I'm almost looking at AP4 here. Feels like there's gonna be something wrong with it though. Maybe not. Original plan. I mean, what I really want to do is move this guy and play c6, obviously, easier said than done. Six, there was knight f4, which I didn't love. I'm trying to avoid these damn bishops. Not easy to do. get killed if I try knight f3 there to win the queen. Hmm, really? It should be six actually. It's gonna be... Okay, like, uh, yeah, he has this, but I think I actually make it out fine there. I think bishop b6 is just all okay for me actually. Um, yeah, what I was saying is if I do this, I think I just get murdered. <laughs> you never want to play a position that looks like this. I mean, Jordan will play these positions so well, but I also have a, a second, and it's like, no, I'm I'm gonna get dismantled <laughs> in a position like that. It's probably just better for white anyway. Uh, kind of unfortunate though. Thought that uh, thought I got that move off in time. After bishop b6, I don't see any dangerous moves with this rook. Unfortunate. I think uh, black was. <laughs> I think I had my best position when I played. Feels bad. Can we take a look at knight f3? Well, I just did. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just good for white. But I think, I think we're all okay actually after this. I could be missing something. I don't know what he would try here. 
can't let me take it. This looks normal. I mean, you can do that and just play this, like... There's no doubt that white's doing fine, but... Nothing crazy. That moves. This is a solid structure. And he only has a light squared bishop, so now my king has some safe squares. Well, I'm not saying it's a good position, I'd say it's my best position. And, you know, pawns are even on both sides. I can play rook d8 next. I have knight e5 as well. Like I said, my king has some safe squares to go to. It's not that easy for white to crack the position here. Deep tour, no worries. Glad you uh, got some use from it. Required ransom, thanks for the seven months. Grit poker, 10 months. Cinemoto, 51 months. Thanks, Cinemoto. That's Prime as well. Mandan is blessed seven months with Prime and E46 mate, 26 months. Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, you're never gonna get a good title Tuesday score if you don't be at least, you know, a few people above you. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized, yeah, it's after round four. It's after round four, so we got a break ski. So I'm, I'm the type of person that I wouldn't say needs a coffee in the morning, but I routinely have one. I like the taste, I like the way it makes me feel energized, but I cannot have more than one. Like I can't just go back to back. If the first two things in my system, no food, are just back to back coffees, like I'm just like a crack addict, just like a, I'm just shivering. My heart rate is like unhealthy. <laughs> I know some people that need the like back to back coffees really get their day going. But it's just one for me. Just one coffee. Hey, Kitara. What do you mean started to stream before Title Tuesday? We're in Title Tuesday right now. I started the stream just, just in time for Title Tuesday. It might be on 928. Eh? It, I was drinking out of the mug, so theory's holding up. Well, Numeroy, when you say make a coffee in the morning, do you mean make a coffee? Like, you know, <laughs> go in, uh, plant the beans, grow them, you know, grind them. Like, are we talking like that? Because it's a lot easier to just put a coffee pod in and click, yes, click go. Coffee, please. That's for the modern, uh, the modern day coffee drinkers. Tuesday's been the same time uh, every week, guitar. Starts at 8 a.m. Pacific time, so 11 p.m. Eastern, or 11 a.m. 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Even easier to swallow a pill? Hey man, speak for yourself. I can't do that stuff. Like anything in pill form, I need to be able to grind it up. I need to be able to eat it, chew it, or grind it up and put it in a drink or something. Those pills with like the 
I don't know, whatever the thin plastic layer around them or whatever it is. Putting those in your mouth and then like drinking water and swallowing a pill, I'm incapable of doing it. Never been able to do it my whole life. I just like, I just like, choke, I like die basically. It just doesn't, <laughs> it's not a function my body's used to. Yeah, let's just not chew. Let's just not chew this thing for no reason at all. Bob K999, thanks for 100 bits. Goal 11, 45 months of Prime. Welcome back. Exactly, Kenra. And you know what they say, a relationship is all about, you know, opposites attracting. Like, you complete me kind of thing. You know what? I'm a good chess player. You're not a good chess player. That's ideal for me. I can't swallow. Grind up my Advil. Oh, I definitely would. I, I would have to. to splice it up, you know? Yeah, but you grind up a pill, put it in some water and just shot the water. Like, think about it, like, I take shots of alcohol. A lot of people think alcohol tastes like garbage and some alcohol does. So if I can take a Sambuca shot, you tell me I can't grind a pill up, put it in like a shot amount, you know, volume amount of water and just drink that, like it's never gonna be worse. How do I handle eye drops? I would say fairly well, but I don't, I don't do them <laughs> very often. I don't use eye drops very often. No, same thing, unemployed nuke. Well, I just don't take those pills, first of all, because most things you can get in other forms and not really a pill popper. Oh. Guitar 001, I think you're dealing with daylight savings. Yeah, for, for me, I don't notice a difference. But for Europe, I believe at the moment, there's, is that the case, guys? There's an extra hour difference. There's like a period of time in the world, makes no fucking sense, by the way, where the Europeans are like not on the same time and the North Americans are, uh, it makes no fucking sense. But anyway, that's why Title Tuesday is probably a different time for you, man. It's the world's fault. So yeah, exactly. I think by the end of March, it, uh, it syncs up again back to what you were used to. Oh, National Master, here we go. These are my people. They have a 10 second, 10 seconds until it starts, you see? They really haven't fixed that thing. They're really letting it slide. Okay, it's gotta be we're gonna turn up this song and turn up this game.
Nexus Sonic Nexus
I just had to get the pawn to h6. I just had to get the pawn to h6. It's always- this is one of these things in chess. So fucking annoying, by the way. When you have two rooks and a bishop like this, there's no checkmate. It makes no sense. But there's never a checkmate. It's probably helpful to know that there's never a checkmate, so you don't- <laughs> Suicide trying to find it. But two rooks and a bishop like this is the worst! There's never a coordination where you can deliver a mate like this. So you either have to like get your bishop out of there, bring it here, and then go rook there and rook there, something like this. Or sorry, rook there and rook there, with your bishop on a new diagonal. So bishop f5 I probably should have done. But the other idea is just to run upon h6 so you can finally do this. Ugh. Yeah, and it, of course if it was a... Of course, if it was a dark square bishop, it'd be a lot different. If the bishop's here or here, then you just have check and mate all the time. Julius, thanks for the prime sub 15 months. Looks like you're giving me your phone number with that sub as well there. Jeez. Got the whole birthday, DOB, Professor EXP, thanks for the full year. And Ubitsia won 74 months tier three. Ubitsia. I think you're gonna take me out in uh, basketball this week, but Ubitsia. I get really impatient with the fantasy basketball. I like to see the results, so I end up putting too many people in for their games early on in the week instead of uh, maybe trying to pick the best one. I still have a chance. All right. Indian lad. Here we go. What's the deal? Have I been exposed? Chess.com insights or something? Why is everyone doing this? Do they know? <laughs> is this the opening apparently where I just have no clue what's going on or what? Well, I have no clue what's going on. So. <laughs> it seems pretty accurate to me. That's a little boring. That's a little boring, brah. I'm looking for something more interdasting. Like h4. Powerful move. <laughs> Does this move do anything, by the way? Like, I assume he can't play that. Not sure though. Doesn't look that great. Although I like that I have the G square and G5 square in general. Like the G square. Tendi, thanks for 20 months tier 3. Oh, 
What he's doing is looking a little dicey, I gotta say. I have this move next, this move. What the heck? What the hell is this? This looks like a rather lost position. one not so strong. Oh, didn't expect to just to uh, get the full piece like that. Probably looks like the moon. What? Is time ticking faster or something? He made this move and was I not right here with this one? How is that a flag? There's no way that took me 1.2 seconds. Honestly. <laughs> right? That was an instant move. Okay, a flag's a flag, I guess. I, that was like, I was right there with the move. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm pretty like, you know, I've, I've played these plus one tournaments a lot. <laughs> I thought I was right there with the move. Generally have a fairly good sense of like, oh, I knew I was too slow there, and oh, I definitely don't think I should have been. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, get the, get the VAR. Ref, I'd like to challenge that one. I'd like to challenge that one, Ref.
Well, we went to video review. Obviously, just got a call from upstairs. Uh, looks like the call on the field stands, unfortunately. Do it for the ads, thanks for 17 months with Prime. Call on the field stance. We got GMs hanging pieces out here. We got GMs like me flagging out here. Novity, thanks for 19 months. Man, I'll tell you, a lot of people in this position really start thinking about rook takes before, like, they, they really start to get in their own head. Like, well, he wants to sack his queen. Well, actually, you're not allowed to. like to see these slow moves in general. I pretty much want to do this. However... looks like it's going to be needed. He looks like a he's trying to play c4 kind of guy based on this setup. Like if none of these guys are doing anything, that's his only break. So, I think he's definitely going for c4. Option open for the bishop to return. Okay. Ooh, this looks very tempting. I think we definitely want to take this one. Get rid of the pawn majority. Move his white. Unless he has something in the next couple moves. My king is so safe. And I'm about to. Am I not about to, like, just do some stuff here? Yeah, this makes sense. He's trying to loosen up. 
the one place where things are a little bit weak. Do we go h5? I think we do. Maybe he goes g4 there. Yeah, no, let's, let's just go here to start. Can't play king h7 after this, for example, because of h5, but. The rook on f6. Gotta be careful I don't drop this bishop somehow, but it looks all right. You might get some good pressure there. King h2, rook f8, f4, and then g5. I think this is an important move. If he gets to maintain this structure, I'm kind of comfortable, but g5 is uh, it's pretty nice. And I mean, this bishop's about to return somewhere here. Safety. King takes, so that I can take like this. Not even sure if winning this rook is the right play for me. So we want a nice solid position. Queen F4, I'll go King D7 next. Oh my goodness. Chokes. Queen e3 won the rook. That was the only big, big, big mistake that I made though. I think he had a few other like pretty good moves, but not maybe not I'm dead lost moves. That one was I'm dead lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bishop and uh, and rook. I mean it should be definitely winning for black, so I don't really feel bad about how we got it, but there was one moment where it was a little dire there. Jeez. 
Look at these, uh, look at these games go. Tennis Mom 33, thanks for the prime. Ooh, Tennis Mom. Take that. Oh, no, fuck. <laughs> How is this a thing? How is this a thing? Ugh. Okay. That's what I need. I just need to spot my opponent 30 seconds. I mean, I'm a quick player, so I can get away with that. I suppose you could have taken there in Queen C7, but it doesn't look right. wrong but just no immediate win from what I can say. I could play this move. That's annoying. I mean, 
mean, he's still the probably okay, good position. But definitely thought I could play this. Just miss, miss Queen F4. Amazing how useless uh, a, a side pass pawn can feel with your rook in front of it in the end game. All my pieces are very mobile. My rook can move to anywhere here, basically, and my king can move anywhere as long as there's pawn cover. So it's one of those one of those things really annoying. I'm also up a pawn, so it helps. But sometimes even in equal pawn positions, like three against two with one pawn over here. So it's three against three overall, but three on two for me over here. Sometimes white is even the one trying to win with the, the king in front of the pawns. Um. Yeah, but other, other useful thing is that, you know, at some point he wants to give up this pawn for another pawn, but he's never really able to do it. Because he tried to do it here, and you know, taking this or something would be just unnecessary. But after f4, he's he's dealing with two threats again, and just can't just can't cover everything. Meanwhile, I keep pushing these spawns. With only the h pawn, or only the g pawn, or only the F-Pawn, it's not winning at all. I mean, like, in this position? Well, <laughs> if you take away any two of these pawns, except maybe these two, I was gonna say, it's almost just losing on the spot, so you gotta be really careful. <laughs> but, um... It's, there's no way, like, it's impossible to win. Yeah, you're not winning a brick game with... 
not even one extra pawn, um, usually. Because remember, if you take away two of my pawns here, I'm not even up a pawn. Shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be possible to win. Because yeah, if my king is ever able to be checked, then one check is basically going to win the game. The whole point of uh, the reason why I'm successful here is that my king is shielded on all three of these files from checks. So I can put my king anywhere in here and there's nothing black can do. Let's say the absolute best he could hope for. And here I, I would even play this, I wouldn't even give him the pawn. But let's say he gets a pawn, I still have two, so I'd be winning. If in this position I only had like one of these pawns, there's a, still a good chance it'd be a draw. How many subs to play the Jerome? Remember, I can't force the Jerome, right? I can't force it. How many subs to try and play the Jerome? Ah, now we're talking. 25 subs, that's what Jerome would have wanted. Yeah, I also noticed the same thing, uh, Adam Hart Lover. I noticed that Mattis 1337 was coming in uh, real naked. A former sub, former Twink of the Month. Mattis's uh, his accomplishments are often in the past. Thanks, uh, Lil Sa, for the eight months push to pawns for 30 months. Well, there. What a great time for that reset. Suzuki Vitara, 13 months as well. And uh, KXX2, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome, man. Defile. Taking care of uh, Mattis 1337 in the sauna. When you're a guy like Mattis, you have priority around here. You come in with your towel off, and there'll be, there'll be a few guys looking to clean you in the sauna. Correct, Hush. Was that round eight? It was. It was, okay. So that was round eight, which is why there's a bit of a longer break here. Try and Java. I had some uh, unlucky flags today. I will use the word unlucky. Just for one of them in particular, you guys know which one, against Indian Lad. I still feel kind of bad about that. The other ones are obviously understandable. That's correct, Twink Time. Even the one against Jordan, I kind of feel bad about, but it's gonna happen to me. Unless Eric wants to play Java, um, obviously he's getting ready for his tournament against Magnus and kind of uh, traveling around at the moment before he joins us in Toronto, so uh, someone will stream the late title Tuesday. Uh, and Unless Eric wants to play, I will play. Haddon Holmes, 221, thanks for the three month three sub of Prime. Maya Jane Coles, yes. to Eddie the Endgame Magician. You can uh, sense the afternoon Michigan energy. Yes, Mattis, we actually host wrestling matches for that. So uh, you're, you're actually booked for a title Tuesday soon, Mattis. Not sure if you uh, understood the parameters. 
We got uh, Title Tuesdays featuring Mattis and Dustin uh, on all Edmonton lineup. Eric's tied for first in Title Tuesday. I'm not sure if Eric's ever clearly won Title Tuesday. I think the answer is yes, like a long, long time ago, before it was like really populated with super strong players. I feel like the answer might be a yes. But recently, I know he's tied for first, um, but I don't think he's won it outright. Eh? Preventing the reverse Jerome. Oh. Do you have a gamer here? Go us. For a sec, I have to defend my key pump. I <laughs> almost forgot. <laughs> that, that's not a queen. That's no lady, sir. I also am defending the b5 square. <laughs> this is great. G3 might be a threat. My bishop is pinned to my bishop. It's a lot of things to remember, hey? No, this is uh, just two evenly matched grandmasters who understand the, the MO. No castling chess. This is what the people are here for. B3 here, here. Okay. Yeah, he wants to get this in. Understood, Brack. Should I bother going here? Let's do it. It's kind of uh, not a move I really want to play, actually. And that's why. <laughs> Here and allow this. And I think it's probably okay. Taking this pawn looks a little risky. Oh, this might be. Uh oh, this 
makes me an important call. Fun's a fun, thanks for three months. Yeah, yeah, we take those. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Amon takes a phone call with three seconds on the clock. Hey, how'd you know what the YouTuber was gonna be called? I'm already farming those views. those too often. You know, this is a mutual agreement, guys. Just two lads down on their luck entitled Tuesday. You know? And neither lad uh, has anything to play for. Why not spice it up? Get on even footing here. No castling chess. The way Kramnik intended it. I lost the thread a little bit here when the knight got to f4, and then <laughs> things got a little suspicious. But yeah, I recommend uh, in case you guys have a buddy uh, online, you know, you want to train some chess, some no castling chess, definitely recommend uh, this opening right here. You know what's amazing is that 
e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop e5, queen f6. That does not have a name until I named it the Hamilton. It, it just did not have a name. And yet this opening, with the king switched, boom, immediate ECO reference. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay. Of course, he's gonna allow the Jerome, right? Right? Of course. All right, well, pack it up, boys. Uh, looks like I'm done here. Guys, I'm sorry, I have to int this game. There's something very important happening in the front door. I have to int this game.
So I just witnessed probably the most insane like discussion with a company ever. So <laughs> so we bought a TV for Best Buy. Now Best Buy sells you an option where they deliver your TV and they take your old TV. So they recycle your old TV for a very, very small fee. Now the company that delivers the TV delivers my TV and says, oh, we don't take old TVs. So I'm like, okay, but I paid for that. And you're hired, you're contracted by Best Buy to deliver me the TV and take the old one. She's like, yeah, 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 but we don't do that. We don't take old TVs. I'm like, great, I paid for it. I understand what's going on. She's like, oh yeah, customers always complain that we don't take old TVs, but Best Buy said so, but we just don't do that. Yeah, it's a regular complaint. I was like, great. It's a regular complaint. Why doesn't this change? It's like, oh yeah, for a couple years now, Best Buy keeps selling that we take old TVs, but we don't take them. And I'm like, so you guys just keep operating like that? <laughs> like you guys just keep coming to people's houses, deliver TV and just tell them, ah, we don't do that, sorry but just never fix it. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Is this modern business? I've never, I've never heard of this shit. This is like, no one has ever like brought it up to a superior like, hey, by the way, how come we keep fucking, like, everyone just lets it happen? So just a wild discussion. Yeah, yeah, you pay a small fee to get it recycled. I mean, it's worth, you know, by the time you get rid of the TV and maybe like drive it to, I don't know, a dump or like, you could even, yeah, I don't know. The time you take to maybe fix it or something, believe me, it's worth like 30 bucks to pay someone to take it away. If you have no use for it anymore. <laughs> I've ne never, never dealt with that. <laughs> it's insane. It's, it's, it's the same thing as if like, I was like, oh yeah, uh, if you guys subscribe tier three, you also get a free lesson from Omen. And then all of a sudden there's 10 tier three subs. And then Omen has 10 people at his door saying, hey, uh, yeah, just here for the free lesson. And he's like, oh, what? I don't, I don't do a free lesson every time you sub tier three at chess bar. And then, <laughs> that's it. That's the end of the discussion. <laughs> Everyone at the door is like, uh, okay, but they said you did. And Omen's like, oh yeah, Chess Pro's been advertising that for like five years, almost seven years now. Since they started streaming, they've been advertising that, but I don't do that. <laughs> okay, fuck.
can I refuse the TV and ask for a refund? I could maybe refuse the TV, but they're still delivering my TV. So obviously I want to take my TV. The only service that is not being provided is the removal of the old TV, which is annoying. So now I basically have two TVs and I still need to dispose of the old one. That's the current sitch. I um, shouldn't have taken this. I kind of uh, just forgot for a sec. Because here you have C3. Um, I just forgot what, basically what, what I was doing. Because uh, after B3, my bishop can't go to B1 because my rook's hanging. So after B3, then I take the rook and go bishop B1. But I took the rook one move too soon, and now he doesn't have to commit this move. And if I play bishop b1, there he has c3 and takes this, so that's why I'm not, I'm not exactly happy with how this developed. So I'm down a move somewhere, okay. I guess I'm losing something here? Oh no, he's trying to go b3, okay. I mean, I guess we have to take the... pretty, I guess, standard sacrifice to get a pass on. Uh, here there's just knight d3. with this position. Brain is fried. Yeah. He has queen uh, a1 and a2. I think this is good. I think this is good. GG. Yeah, my head wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't even close to in that game. Unfortunate ending. Unfortunate ending. Um, I'll definitely stream the later title Tuesday. Or someone will rather. Not sure what Eric's up to, but um, I guess I'm gonna go try to sort whatever that was out uh, right now. So GG's lame ending, but uh, yeah, I just gotta go deal with this. Okay, yeah, the gripes of moving into a house always something. Okay, sorry guys, disappointing finish. My head wasn't even close to, I wasn't even processing using this one. Just got crushed uh, in the last game, gave away for free, so. Lame ending, maybe we could have uh, gotten a couple wins at the end. Maybe got up to like seven and eight points. Still a chance, but uh, I'll stream the title Tuesday later. If Eric's not up for it, and hopefully we have a better performance. Or rather, we will have a better performance. How about that? All right, I'm gonna send the raid off. Um, I see Rosen's going. I'm not sure if he's gonna still stream, but I'm gonna raid uh, Eric Rosen here. Good guy, one of our roommates in St. Louis. You guys know Eric Rosen. If you don't, follow his channel. Take care, guys. Sorry for the uh, abrupt ending. I was gonna end after Title Tuesday anyway, so no difference there, but not very good games to, to finish off. Cheers, guys. Send you over to Eric's stream, and I'll see you guys later for the Late Title Tuesday. Bye.